morning dear kids how are you all i hope you all are good and ready for our further studies after this diwali vacation so before i am going to start a new chapter i have some riddles for you all first is goddess lakshmi sits on this flower did you get this okay i have clue for it this flower grows in water and mostly pink in color oh great you all are correct this is a lotus now next reader is this bird dances with joy when it rains no okay so do you all want a hint all right this bird is very colorful get it no okay the female bird is called a peahen yes you are right this is a peacock one more jim corbett national park is famous for this animal it has stripes on its body and its young one is called a cub no okay i will tell you the answer answer is tiger all right students okay every country has some symbols which tell us about the identity values and culture of that country you must have watched india playing cricket hockey or some other game and you must have seen people waving the indian flag the flag makes us feel that we all belong to the same country it is the most important symbol of our country a symbol is a sign or thing that stands for something for example the dove is the symbol of peace okay our national flag national emblem national anthem national animal national bird and national flower are symbols of our freedom and unity in this chapter we will learn about some symbols and other things that india is known by our first symbol is national flag every nation nation means country every nation is known by its national flag our national flag is a tricolor which means it has three bands of color the topmost band is saffron it stands for sacrifice which means giving up something the band in the middle is white it stands for purity and the band at the bottom is green it stands for life okay dear kids our national flag tricolor is rectangular in shape it has three equal bands of different colors first saffron stands for sacrifice and bravery second white stands for purity truth and peace and last third green stands for life and prosperity now there is a navy blue chakra chakra means wheel chakra is a hindi word okay there is a navy blue chakra in the middle of the white band it has 24 spokes to show the 24 hours of the day you can think of the wheel as a day as it rolls one day changes into another day so the wheel stands for change or progress progress means moving forward okay in the center of the white band there is a wheel in navy blue color this is the ashoka chakra it has 24 spokes spokes are basically these lines and this wheel stands for progress spokes represent the 24 hours in a day kids do you know the uses of the flag you must have seen the national flag at various places we must follow some rules with regard to it kids a national flag must not be kept on the ground next is the saffron color band must always be on top third national flag must always be carried in front of a procession procession means rallies next national flag must always be carried over the right side shoulder 
Next, a dirty or a torn flag must never be hoisted. Okay, did you get all these? Okay, our second symbol is national emblem. An emblem too is a symbol. A country's emblem is a symbol that the government uses as its mark. Okay, it is the seal of a government and can be seen on government papers, currency, notes, coins and official letters. Okay, we took our national emblem from a statue at the top of a pillar in Sarnath. Sarnath situated in Uttar Pradesh. The pillar was made by Ashok, a great king who ruled over a large part of our country more than 2000 years ago. The pillar is now broken and the statue is kept in a museum. It has four lines. Students, our national emblem has four lines facing the four directions. However, only three can be seen at a time. Okay. At the feet of the lions are four animals, a horse, a bull, a lion and an elephant. The animals are separated by chakra. I already tell you our national emblem has three lions. The fourth one cannot be seen because it is at the back. At the feet of the lions is a chakra. There is a horse on one side of the chakra and a bull on the other side. Below them are the words Satya Mev Jayate meaning truth alone trumps are only the truth wins. The lines in the emblem stand for power, the horse stands for energy and the bull stands for hard work. Okay. You will see our national emblem on coins, currency, notes, passports, voter ID and many other things issued by the Indian government. Letters sent out from government offices also carry the emblem. Now, third symbol is our national anthem and song. An anthem is a song written in a praise of something. Okay. Almost every country has a national anthem. It is sung on important occasions. Arts was written by Ravindranath Tagore. It begins with Janagana Man and speaks of the variety and the oneness or unity of our country. It makes us feel proud of being Indian. Class, our national anthem Janagan Man was written by the famous poet Guru Dev Ravindranath Tagore. It is a song in praise of our beloved motherland. Students, we must show respect to our national anthem. We must learn the song and sing it properly. When we sing it or hear it being sung, we must stand at attention position. We must not talk or move about during that time it means when it is being sung okay so remember these points okay now we also have a national song it was written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee it begins with Vande Matram which means I praise you mother that is motherland mother stand for motherland when Bankim Chandra wrote the song, India was ruled by the British. At that time, many poets wrote songs and poems to make the people feel proud of being Indian. These songs and poems united the people and helped them in their fight to win freedom from the British. If even now, these songs bring us together. They make us feel united and proud of our country. They make us remember all those who fought to win freedom from the British and all those who have defended our country since then. Dear kids, did you ever notice the time you have taken to sing National Anthem? We should take about 52 seconds, that means a little less than a minute. 
to sing a national anthem do you know the national anthem of some countries like spain are a piece of music it means without any lyrics lyrics means words now other symbols are we have a national bird a national animal and a national flower the peacock is our national bird the tiger is our national animal and the lotus is our national flower so first national animal the royal bengal tiger is our national animal it represents grace strength and power to protect tigers a special project called project tiger was started by the government today tigers are protected in national parks and wildlife sanctuaries next is national bird the peacock is our national bird it is a beautiful bird with a long blue neck and a tail of colorful feathers the peacock is found in almost all parts of india it is a symbol of beauty and grace it has an important place in our art and culture okay national flower the lotus is our national flower it grows in muddy ponds and lakes the flower represents truth knowledge and wealth the lotus has been widely used in our art and culture our national symbols represent the culture and values of our country they show that we are one so dear students we must respect our national symbols here are some national symbols of india are given take a look indian national currency is indian rupee national pledge remember this national calendar saka calendar this is basically hindu calendar national river is ganga national fruit is mango national tree is indian banyan tree national aquatic animal ganga's river dolphin national reptile king cobra national language hindi national game hockey national book is geeta so these all about our national symbols read the chapter and fill the book work thank you